do I look? Great. Ready, Sandy? You know me. I'm always ready. And so is the Sandy Cam. This special camera will stay on your back through almost anything. And we'll be able to see whatever you see. In the sea. Now, hold on to your hats and enjoy the turtle eye view. Good day. Let's invite Shellington down to take a look. I've got a better idea. <laughs> look at her go. Thank you. Whoever said turtles are slow never met Sandy. Wow, look at all those fish. Oh, there's a trigger fish. And a parrotfish. Oh, that's a blue-headed wrasse. Whoa. A pod of dolphins. And they're in a hurry. They look scared. wonder what they're afraid of. Tiger shark. A young one, but big. Sandy, get out of there! Sandy's fast. She might have lost him. Turn the camera around. <gasps> oh, me, oh, no. but we explored the whole reef. Oh, can't wait to get back to the open water. Was that Tweak? In the gut, Bee? What's she doing in my gut? Captain, Sandy was being chased by a tiger shark and we lost contact with her. Tweak is... We know, and we're right behind her. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yeah! Octonauts, to your stations. <laughs> Sharks. They're incredible creatures, Captain. Big and fast and with great eyesight, even in the dark, making them terrific hunters. They're called the waste basket of the sea because they'll eat almost anything, especially dolphins and, uh... Yes, how to put this delicately, turtles. Captain, Tweak's reached the part of the reef where we last saw Sandy. Tweak, any sign of Sandy? I don't see her anywhere. Looks like that shark got a bite out of the Sandy can. But where's Sandy? Tweak! Look out! Oh, oh me, oh my! Another new thing to eat! Yum! I love this leaf! Pull oh. out that tiger shark! <laughs> Sandy, while I block the shark. Hi, hi, Captain. Now, Tweak, you lead the shark away. When I'm clear of the reef, I'll hit the turbo button. Yoo-hoo! Don't forget about me! Hey, come back here! <laughs> Okie dokie, it's turbo time. Yeah! Hey, that's my line. Oh, 
still. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Peso. I'm just glad you're okay. Me too. The shark almost got me till I ducked behind this reef. But oh, I don't know what happened to the sandy cam. Uh-oh. Shellington did say they'd eat anything. <laughs> How come the more I eat, the more my tummy hurts? You sure you want to go through with this, matey? I've got to take a look inside that shark's stomach with my x-ray viewer. He may be in as much danger as Sandy was. Careful, Peso. Not too close. Flappity flippers. I think I see the Sandy can and a lot of other things that shouldn't be in that shark's stomach. To eat. Captain, those things will make the shark sick. I've got to swim. Hazer, are you all right? I'm fine, but I'm afraid there's one more thing that shouldn't be in that shark's stomach. <laughs> Yum! That was... <laughs> Yucky. Actually, nothing I've eaten today tastes very good, and I'm still hungry. Uh-oh, the engine's in trouble. Oh! Oh! so Peso can get that stuff out of you. Well, okay. Will it hurt? Not if you keep absolutely still. Okay. Easy there, matey. <laughs> Just a little bit to the left. And yes, I've got something. Ooh. Uh, you might want to give that a clean before you use it again. Yeah. There's the sandy can. Oh my, that's not all. Yeah. I think that's it. Yow! No wonder they called you the waste basket of the sea. How do you feel, Tom? Much better. But now I'm really hungry. Try these. <laughs> Yum! Another new thing to eat. I. <laughs> He's eating those carrots faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy. Tweak! What have you done to me, Gup? Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Come in, Dashie. Is the octopod in position? We're at the surface, Captain. The 
The show will be starting any minute. We'll be right there, just as soon as we get Peso's patient back home. Allow me. Your patient is heavier than a pile of cannonballs. Just a little polar bear strength. Thanks, Captain. Whoa, that guy's pretty strong. You know it. Hi, there's no one in the seven seas stronger than Captain Barnacles. Why, I've seen him pry open the lid of a rusty treasure chest, lift up giant rocks, twist the lid off a jar of jam that nobody else could open. What was that? Hello, Hattie here. Oh, this looks interesting. <gasps> Flappity flippers. She took a bite right out of that rock. Now that is strong. You know it. Oh, yes, I just love to bite rocks or, or coral or anything, really. I'm a humphead parrotfish and I have special teeth that... Oh, that looks interesting. <gasps> Those are some teeth. You know it. Look, is that sand? Yes, yes. Rocks go in, sand comes out. Oh, now this looks interesting. Come. Careful, Hattie. You just took a bite out of our gop. Oopsie. Awfully sorry. When I get a chance to chomp, I just can't resist it. It's how we humphead parrotfish eat. Captain, you better get up here fast. It's about to begin. Okay, Dashy, we're on our way. Bye, Hattie. What do you think they were rushing off for? I don't know. But there might be something new to chop. Wait for me! Captain, you're just in time. The meteor shower is just starting. There's one. Look. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. <gasps> oh, wow. Rusta Muta. That's a meteor tunic. A meteor is a piece of rock flying through space. When lots of them are in the sky at once, like tonight, it's called a meteor shower. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, that one looks like it might be heading this way. Hmm. Occasionally, a meteor will fall to the Earth. Some, well, most in fact, land right in the ocean. Hmm. Then we'd better move the octopod just to be on the safe side. Dashy. Already on it, Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweet. We're coming in. You got it, Cap. Oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> Whoa! Come in, Dashy. What's going on in there? Oh, we're falling fast, Captain. Something's wrong with the Octopod's engines. They've completely shut down. Then we'll have to prepare for a crash landing. Octonauts, hold on. Captain, safe and sound. Captain, you're not gonna believe this. What is it, Dashy? It's the meteor tracker, Captain. The meteor quasi saw is about to crash into the ocean, and it's heading straight for us. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts. There's a meteor heading our way, and the octopod is stuck. I'll get to work on the engine, Cap. Dashy, how much time do we have? Not long, Captain. In just a few minutes, the meteor will hit the ocean, and then... 
The octopod? <gasps> then we'll have to find some way to move the octopod. I think I found the problem, Cap. Looks like something took a chunk right out of the engine. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch. Huh? Tweak, what was that noise? I don't know. But now there's another missing chunk. Hmm. Actually, Cap, this could take me a while. If we can't fix the engine and move the octopod in time, then we need to find a way to stop the meteor. Shellington, Inkling, what else do we know about meteors? Well, as you can see, they look like big black rocks. Yes, but they're actually part metal. Metal? That's right. In fact, they can even be magnetic. Hmm, magnetic. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Quasi, peso, to the guts. <laughs> Octonauts, these magnets should stick to the meteor and slow it down, but it's moving fast. We have to shoot our magnets and hit the meteor at the exact same time. Quasi, Peso, take your positions. It's coming in fast, mateys. Get ready. Ooh. Steady. Steady. Dashi, I'm attached to the meteor, but I can't stop it. Prepare to evacuate the octopod. Attention, Octonauts. Report to the launch bay. We need to leave the octopod immediately. Huh? Where's all this sand coming from? So you're what's been taking chunks out of our engine. Whoops! <laughs> I'm sorry. There are just so many interesting things to munch around here. Well, you better clear out. A big rock from outer space is about to hit the octopod. A rock from outer space? That sounds delicious. Hold on. If you can chomp through this engine, I reckon you can chomp through that meteor. Chomping rocks is my speciality. And I've never tasted one from outer space before. Um, do you have any friends around here? <laughs> Second time lucky, Captain. Ready, Peso? I can do this. I can do this. Well done, you two. But it's still not enough. Don't worry, Cap. Help is on the way. Patty. All right, boys. Who's hungry? <laughs> It's working, but we've got to give the parrotfish more time. Pull back on your reverse thrusters. Give it everything you've got. <laughs> Look! Here they come! They're moving fast. Captain, time until impact is five. I'm losing contact with the meteor. <laughs> Down. Three. Two. One. Yes! Fascinating. Hey! Mm, delicious. Thanks, Tweak. Good work today, Octonauts. And thanks for your help, Hattie. Oh, it was no trouble at all. After all that meteor chomping, I'd better check on your teeth. Open your mouth and say, ah, uh... oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to test the Octomax suit? Ready! 
Let's start with the robotic arms. Robotic arms, check. Now the jackhammer. Jackhammer, check. All right, now let's test those cameras. Front view, check. Side view, check. Oh, hi, Quasi, Professor. Whoa, how'd you see us? With my rear view camera, check. What in the seven seas is this thing? A diving suit or a gup? Both. It's as strong as a gup, but small enough to get into tight spaces where the gups can't go. We call it the, the Octomax suit. The Octomax suit, eh? He looks perfect for wrestling sea monsters. When can I try it out? Not now, Quasi. We have a mission of our own, remember? Oh, right. Planting coral. Not just any coral. Deep sea coral. And it can only be planted in the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? Why didn't you say so? Let's go. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Quasi. Professor, over there. Uh, perfect, Quasi. Psst, over there. It's our lucky day. Food. Food? What kind of food? How much? What's it look like? Uh, I can't see it very well. Oh, of course you can't. We're culpa eels, remember? We can't see anything very well. I know. I'm over here, by the way. Oh, kind of looks like sea snakes. Uh, they're wriggling all over the place. Now let's open our jaws and... <gasps> you get anything? No. You? Nothing. And those aren't sea snakes. Then what were those wiggly things? Tentacles. Octopus tentacles. Oh, oh, octopus, my all-time favorite. Ooh, we can't let him get away. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Now, come on. The deep-sea coral should feel right at home here. Tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! Oh, yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think, um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. I've almost <laughs> got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Or his tail. Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor is breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! Giant bombers! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, 
Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting. Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit. Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for short missions. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, dashy, peso, let's go. <laughs> the Gup E. Hmm. They must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. <sighs> oh. 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 It's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. Tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! Captain, we've got visitors. Dashy, gulper eels coming up fast. From behind. And they look hungry. Dashy, activate the snack shooter. Great idea, Tweak. Snack time. Food. That should hold him. The second tentacle's out. Just one to go. Hurry, Dashy. You don't have much air left. Almost there. But this rock's really wedged in. Oh, how about a little octopus ink? That might help me slide it out. Good idea, Professor. I'll take a blast of that too, Professor. I'll lift while you two try to wriggle free. Yeah! Yeah! Incoming! Oh, my! Keep pulling! I'll take care of the boulders! Ah! Get him, Dashy! Lovely flippers! Grab on, Quasi! We did it, Captain! They're both free! Well done! And just in time, Dashy's almost out of air! Dashy, get back to the gut now. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait! My friend, he's trapped. Oh. <laughs> we can't leave him there. Even if he did try to eat you. Don't worry. We'll help you out. Stand clear. Hurry, Dashy. I'm free. Oh, thank you. No problem. Now, let's get out of here. Ooh, you better get out of here, too. Oh, go. Hurry, Dashie. <sighs> <sighs> that air feels good. Good work, Dashy. I'll have you good as new in no time. Thank you, Peso. It looks like the tremors didn't hurt the coral, Professor. Excellent. Let's head back to the octopod. I could certainly use a cup of tea and some fish biscuits. After all that excitement, <laughs> I'm as hungry as a gulper eel. <laughs> Go! You do that every time. I know, I'm awfully sorry. Status report, Dashy. We're right on course, Captain. Spending a day at the beach was a great idea, Captain. Actually, it was Dashy's suggestion. Well, after all, it is summertime. 
And even the Octonauts need a holiday now and then. Apple What did they say? <laughs> they want to know, are we there yet? Not yet. Rubber Yeah, oh. To rush everyone, we have plenty of <laughs> time coming through. You certainly came prepared, Dashy. I sure did, Captain. I can't wait to do a bit of surfing, and I bought some extra surfboards if anyone wants to come along. Surfing sounds like fun. I'm always on the lookout for a new adventure. Yeah. <laughs> So, before long, you can sense the waves before they even reach you. You kind of become a part of them. Like this? <laughs> Impressive! My family and I used to body surf all the time. So using a board is easy. I'm sure anyone can do it. Maybe not anyone. <laughs> Maybe pirates are better at swashbuckling than surfing. Maybe. Come on, Quasi. Why don't we ride the next wave back to the beach? Hi, matey. <laughs> See you back on the beach, Dashy. Be there soon. Oh, oh hey, sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. I'm Violet, and this is my friend Vic. Sir. We're surfing snails, which means we love to surf. Yeah, we live on the surface of the ocean. And these bubbles keep us afloat. Wow, I've never met a surfing snail before. That's okay, Dudette. We've never met a surfing uh, whatever you are. My name's Dashy. I'm an octonaut. And I bet my friends back at the beach would love to meet you guys. This sounds cool. Race you to the beach. So, you make your own bubbles? That's right, like this. <gasps> and use them like surfboards. Wow. Fascinating, radical. All well and good when the water's calm, but what happens when a big wave hits, like the one that got me? Dude, you thought that was big? You should see the really big ones we ride. Hey, I know. Tide's coming in soon, and there's going to be some major wave action. Want to check it out? Uh... I do. Let's go. Awesome! This is pretty far out. I know, right? This is far out. No, I mean, pretty far out from shore. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be totally worth it. So, what are we waiting for? by a huge 
wave. Can't they just surf their way to safety? This wave was too big, even for them. And the rough water was popping their bubbles. That's not good. Surfing snails can't swim. If their bubbles pop, they'll sink underwater. They won't be able to get back up. Then we have no time to lose. Quasi peso dashi to the Gup X. <laughs> Right up there is where I last saw the snails. Then let's take a look, shall we? Hey, so you stay here in the tank. We may need you and your medical skills once we find the snails. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Activating glider wings. And up. Get close, Cap, and I'll grab them. I can't reach them. I can't get any closer than that crashing. We'll have to try something else. I know. Peso, send up the Octo Ski. On its way, Quasi. Prepare for airdrop. Aye, aye, Captain. Dashi, ready? Totally. <laughs> oh, hurry, do that. We're almost out of bubbles. Ah! I've got this. <laughs> Complete. A nice catnap on the beach? <laughs> no, Quasi. To see you stay on the board long enough to really enjoy surfing. <laughs> uh... Come on, let's give it one more try. Two. Yeah. One more try. Come on, pirate dude. All right, mateys. I'll give it one more try.
Octonaut. Tonight we have a very special dinner guest. Dashi? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my little sister, Kashi. Uh, Kashi? Oh, sorry. I'm on the very last page of a Donna Doxy mystery, The Case of the Curious Cuckoo Clock. Once you start a Donna Doxy book, it's really hard to stop. Who's Donna Doxy? The detective undaunted by danger. <laughs> She's the main character in a series of mystery books. They were my favourite growing up. Dashi gave her whole collection to me. All 100 books. I've read 54 of them. 55 when I finish this one. I love a good mystery too, me hearty. Donna Doxy's taught me all kinds of tricks for solving mysteries. Oh, like what, matey? Well, I can tell a lot about a person by looking closely. Take you, for instance. We've only just met, but your eye patch and the tiny piece of your ear that's missing... Tell me you've been in some dangerous situations. I'd say you're reckless but brave. Mm. And from the way your tail keeps twitching, I'd also say you're not very patient. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! You've described Quasi perfectly. And one more thing. There's a trace of pudding on your paw. You must have snuck in a little dessert before your dinner. <laughs> wow. Good job, Kashi. That was incredible. She's good. Possibly too good. It's pretty hard to get anything past my little sister. <laughs> right, Kashi? Uh, <laughs> except when she's reading. <laughs> Right, you ready for the best sister sleepover readathon ever? I'm ready. Which one do you want to read first, Ashy? Oh, um, oh, the case of the disappearing camera. It's one of my favourites. Are missing. It was horrible. Something monstrous taught her our lovely kelp forest home, and now my babies are gone. <laughs> we need to find those baby sea snails and fast. Octonauts to the kelp forest. Captain Barnacles, can I help too? Um. Kashi is very good at working out clues. I notice you're always wearing that uniform, which means you're always ready for the next mission. Me too, sir. All right then, Kashi. Everyone, let's do this! Dashi, what is that? Just orcas. We see them around a lot here this time of year. Uh, come on now, we have to keep up. There, that's right where my babies were. Peso, see if you can find any creatures who saw what happened. Shellington, Dashi and Kashi, you look for clues right here. Quasi, we'll search the nearby kelp for baby snails. This kelp is torn and crushed. The whole area almost looks like a giant footprint. Let's measure it. It's as big as a bus. Somebody must have seen what caused this mess. It's too huge to miss. So, you say you saw a strange creature in the kelp. Sure as my shell I did. Big fella, bumpy all over. No way, that thing was smooth, not bumpy. Um, thank you, I think. I didn't see the thing, but I heard it make a creaky noise. No, it was a bellowing sound. Creaky. Bellowing. I heard it going snoot, snoot, snoot. Flappity flippers. Everyone describes the creature differently. This is going to be a hard mystery to solve. Captain, did you find my babies? Not yet, but don't worry, we'll find them. Did anyone see who took the baby sea snails? We're looking for a creature who's bumpy but also smooth and it makes a creaking, bellowing or snorting sound. Those are all different things. That doesn't help much, matey. Well, we know for sure that the creature is big. It left a huge print in the kelp. Much of the forest nearby was crushed down or torn away. The baby snails could have been carried away on a piece of torn kelp. <gasps> My babies! But where did the creature take them? Creature? I'd say we're looking for a monster. A kelp monster. Whatever it is, we've got to find it. 
But be careful, everyone. There's something big and possibly dangerous out there. No sign of any creature or snails. Sure is quiet. And shadowy. With lots of places to hide. The kelp monster! He's just a ray. They normally live here. And he's not big enough to be the creature. Right. I knew that. Look! Torn kelp! And there's more over here! And here! Now this could lead us to... Ah! Ah! Why are you sneaking up on me? Why are you hiding in the kelp? I'm not hiding. I'm floating. And it was very relaxing until you swam right into me. How big is he? Not as big as a bus. What do you mean, bus? I'm a harbour seal. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Harbour Seal. Ah, it's all right. You two are strange, but you're not the strangest thing I've bumped into tonight. What else have you bumped into? Well, uh, like I said, it was strange. It was big. It nearly knocked me over when it scraped itself along the sea floor, left behind a big hole. A hole? Yeah, you can see it for yourself on the other side of this kelp. Thanks. Let's go. Now that is unusual, and it might be a clue. Deshi, look! Shells! But not snail shells, barnacle shells. These shells belong to little creatures called barnacles that are usually attached to rocks or even other creatures. And look! They lead in there! It's definitely a clue. As Donna Doxy says, we're hot on the trail! The trail just ends. Oh, I was so sure we were onto something. <laughs> Snort! <laughs> Bellow! <laughs> Creak! <laughs> huh? Nothing to see here. Just a big clump of kelp. Is that a whale? Yes, a grey whale. You can tell because he has bumps on his back instead of a dorsal fin. So he's bumpy, but also smooth. Just like the crab and urchin said. And he's making all the noises they mentioned too. <laughs> Mystery solved. The kelp monster that took the baby snails was you, a grey whale. Uh, oh, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kelp. Kelp doesn't talk. Oh, OK, maybe not. But please don't give away my disguise. I'm hiding from a pod of orca whales. They want to eat me. Where'd that great whale go? Let's look out for real. Oh. We won't give you away. Promise. But we'd like to check you for baby snails. They may have gotten caught up in your kelp disguise. Oh, uh, go ahead then. There they are! Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know I had any creatures on my head. Oh, let's get you back to your mum. Oh, my precious little babies. I was so worried. How did you find them? By following the clues. First we discovered a spiked up part of the seafloor. Then we tracked a trail of barnacle shells to the end, where we heard a spooky noise. That's when we found the grey whale accidentally carrying the snails. Now it all makes sense. Grey whale snouts are covered with barnacles. He must have left the trail of shells by scraping his mouth along the seafloor to eat. But where is the whale? Hiding. Really? Grey whales usually travel to warmer water this time of year. There's a pod of orcas after him, and they'd like to eat him. Oh. Only me! This kelp forest is a safe place for me to hide. I think we can help you. Our whale tracker shows that the orcas are gone. Oh, what a relief. Um, before I go, can I ask one last favour? There's a piece of kelp stuck in my blowhole. Would you mind? This will make the perfect souvenir for our case. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, how about finishing up our Donna Doxy readathon? I've got a better idea. Instead of reading a mystery, let's write one. It's about two sisters who team up to solve cases. The little sister is the brains of the team. <laughs> <laughs>
What are you doing, mateys? We are listening to the most popular song of the summer. That doesn't sound like any sea shanty I've ever heard. That's because it's a whale song made by humpback whales. Look! Whoa! These whales are on their way to their summer feeding grounds. They use their songs to talk to each other. And they can hear the songs even when they're miles and miles apart. And the song they're singing now has been really popular this year. All the humpbacks are singing it. It's the only song on the radio. Listen. Here. Here. And here. Humpbacks all over the world are singing the exact same song. Incredible. Let me try. Hang on. That's new. Maybe they got tired of the old song. No, I mean, it sounds different. I've never heard a voice like it before. Maybe these whales have, Dashy. Good idea, Captain. Excuse me, humpback whales. Yes? Sorry to interrupt your journey, but we just wondered if you'd ever heard a song like this before. Uh, nope, not heard that before. It doesn't even sound like a humpback. The singing doesn't match anything in the Octopod sound collection. Whatever's making that noise, there's nothing like it in the ocean. This could be an entirely new species of whale. Or an entirely new species of sea monster. Well, there's only one way to find out. Octonauts, it's time to investigate. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. Hear that? It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm Hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm uh, kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller Joe's are? Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh! So that's why the other whales can't understand me. Yow! What was that? Oh, gee. <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling. I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits. Captain, Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. Hmm, Joe needs food and fast. So we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. Dashy, sound the up to alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, Joe here. 
here is hungry and all alone. If we're going to help him, we need to find a way to make the other whales understand Joe's song. I might have an idea, Cap. With a little help, I think I could build a special machine that Joe could wear that would make his voice sound like the other humpbacks. Oh, really? Oh, but won't that take a long time? I'll have it done faster if you can say bunch of monkey crunchy fish biscuits. It's our best shot. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Here you are, Joe. You can wear the Joe coder on your neck. Just tap it with your fan when you want to sing, and your songs will go from this... Go ahead, Joe. <coughs> ...to this! <coughs> hey! I sound like a regular humpback. Now I can... <coughs> But now Joe's gone. The loud noise frightened him. We'd better find him fast, or the other humpbacks will be gone for good. There's no time to lose. Let's go. <sighs> no sign of him, Captain. We found Joe before, so we can do it again. Peso, check the tracker and look for a big shape. Uh, I'm looking at the tracker, and it's covered in big shapes. Of course. We're surrounded by whales. We have to find Joe before they pass by on their way to the feeding ground. Maybe we could sing. I'm not sure now's the time for singing, matey. No, I mean, what if we could use the Joe coder to make me sound like Joe? Good idea. Then Joe will want to see who else sings like him. Tweak. I'll just change that and reverse this and there. That ought to do the trick. Right, Peso. Go for it. Here goes nothing. I hope you're listening, Joe. <gasps> what was that? It might be my tummy. Think I ate something funny for lunch. Keep trying, Peso. You can do it. <gasps> That's it! He's done it, Captain! Now we just have to hope Joe can hear it and wants to see who's singing his song. There aren't many whales left to pass, Captain. Soon it'll be too late. Come on, Joe. Where are you? What? That sounds like my voice. Hey, so where'd you learn to sing like that? I'll show you, Joe. Oh, it ain't gonna make that terrible noise again, is it? It's fixed, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe it! That works! <laughs> now, that's more like it. Let's just hope someone's listening. Hey, who's that singing? What a great song! It's our pal, Joe. Oh, I love your style. We're on our way to the feeding grounds. You should come with us. Oh, gee, thanks. And thank you, Octonauts, for helping me sing my song. Listen. They're all singing your song. Now go. Good work, everyone. Joe should have no trouble finding the feeding grounds now that he's teamed up with the other humpbacks. And they really seem to like his song. It's not just Joe's friends. Humpbacks are singing it everywhere. <laughs> Looks like it's catching on here, too.
Full speed ahead, Dashi. I'm on it, Captain. Ha-ha! That's more like it! Are we almost there, Cap? Don't worry, Tweak. We'll be there in no time. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? The octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Huh? <gasps> Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Hi Captain. Okay. Sure thing. Hey, okay, Captain. Shiver me whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out, and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Cap. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegimal style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octa hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go! This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall over the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. That should hold it. For a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopod's as secure as... Yeah! Huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? First, this big orange thing drops out of the sky, and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad, I could... <laughs> Easy now. We didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew, listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up, and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I'm a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity, too. Hmm. Could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. 
I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. Okay, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! Oh, it's working! Mmm, warm. Nice and crunchy. We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room, a bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemals fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Tunip. Come on, guys. Dinner is served. Mmm. Mmm, nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> it's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah, really. Oh, wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. <laughs> I knew we could do that. Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch was my new shopping. Watch it, will ya? Hey, Ray, get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. Get out of it. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out. Torpedo rays, look out. Oh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. <laughs> Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. Aim for the octo hatch. Got it. You have to jump for it! A little polar bat strength! The octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 Good to see you, Tweak. You too, Sandy. <laughs> I heard all the commotion from the other side of the canyon, so I swam over to check it out. Just in time, too. I'm glad everybody's okay. Fish biscuit, Sandy. Here, let me zap that for you. <laughs> nice and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way just to see me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, Sandy. <laughs> 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 Barnacles. I'm Katie.
Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.